So for Prodigy, we chose pre-specified thresholds. We chose pre-specified thresholds for entitled CO2, less than 15 or more than 60 for a continuous three minutes. Oxygen saturation for less than 85% for a continuous three minutes. Respiratory rate less than five for a continuous three minutes. Apnea, apneic episodes more than 30 seconds and then any opioid-related adverse events. And these were, these were also predefined in the protocol, what would constitute an opioid-related adverse event. We had a group of experts sit together and design this protocol where we agreed that we should have longer durations of time of a deviation from the norm, so low respiratory rate or low end tidal CO2 or oxygen desaturation for continuous three minutes. And, and I, would, I would think that a continuous three minutes of either of these parameters, it would certainly not be an artifact. So what we did with Prodigy was we had a second layer uh, in terms of our experts in the clinical event committee that would look at all of this data and then adjudicate based on patterns on this data whether an event was a true event or was it just noise or artifact. And that I think in itself is a, is a novelty to this trial and a huge strength of the trial. There has been no trial to date where monitoring data has then gone to an independent set of experts who have provided their unbiased opinion and adjudicated every single you know, second of the monitored data and have been able to uh, separate noise from real events or real episodes, so to speak. So the clinical event committee was comprised of physicians who had expertise in post-operative respiratory depression. We have reviewed each alert that came out from the capnography system to ensure that these were actual respiratory depressive events rather than artifact events.